because if you have the attention of the politicians and you cannot effectively use that to create changes if you have the attention of the congregation and you cannot instruct the congregation how to hold the government officials accountable then there's a problem when i talk about perceptions not being reality you see what it looks like on the surface we have these pastors that we're calling men of god is about conscious empowerment politicians and pastors definition this country these two groups are a danger to the society as you know the basis of everything that i say here is founded on godly principles and laws i'm saying that godliness is what makes the society sane for us it's sad see constitutions even are founded on godliness except that people twist them the rules and regulations of society, natural and universal principles are all founded on godliness, except that people will now take what they want and twist them. See, the problem is people who have a form of godliness but are actually the opposite. They are evil in block letters. And that is what makes it so clear to me that these pastors are not walking the talk. I don't have a problem with you having, with pastors having any luxury. That's not the issue. I have a problem with it because I'm sucking people's money, but that's not the, the crux of the issue here. The issue is that the importance for them to show these things off is what tells you that this person is not sincere. This person is busy with their ego. There is no godliness in this person. A person who has encounters with God is not worried about how people perceive me in all my pomp and glory now. But that is even just another part of the issue. The main place that I'm going to is, I just want you to understand that these people are sick. And if a person is sick, then the way that they process things and the things that they do will all be coming from that sick mind. Right? Because you cannot see an adult who is needing adulation and validation and, and love and worship and all that. You cannot see that and think that that person is normal. Something is wrong. Something is mentally wrong. These same people rub shoulders with people walking the corridors of power and politics. But they can't use that influence and that relationship to make these people effect changes for the betterment of society. Instead, they're just happy to take videos with them, coming to parties with them and show you how important they are in the society. That is a problem because if you have the attention of the politicians and you cannot effectively use that to create changes, if you have the attention of the congregation and you cannot instruct the congregation how to hold the government officials accountable, then there's a problem. They can't even speak continuously about accountability of government officials. And I'm not talking about inside the church during services. And I'm not talking about that. Because they do have the attention of these people. They have their ears. They attend each other's parties. Remember, you can see that they are friends. How can you be so friendly with evil people? Light and darkness have nothing to do together. It makes no sense. As I sit here, I'm telling you that I would find it difficult to breathe comfortably the same air as these people all the time. When I know that these are people who are responsible for the wretchedness and the impoverishment of the populace okay not because i am a saint Let, okay let's talk about let's talk about someone else because now you say oh if she has the opportunity she, she, she's just talking okay let's put it this way not me now not me a, a, a right thinking person a rational person a person who has a heart of the country the populace the things that people are going through an upright thinking person, a rational person will have difficulty being happy and joyful with these people that they know are responsible for the wretchedness and punishment and poverty, abject poverty of the populace. You cannot call yourself a godly person and be comfortable with them because it makes your ego happy, it massages your ego just to even be seen with them. Make it make sense. And then someone will say, but Jesus spent time with sinners, so what are you talking about, Uzo? And I will respond to that because you are not thinking, you're not thinking, my friend. 
it is definitely not the same at all it's not the same scenario at all because when jesus was spending time with sinners it was towards helping them out of one problem or the other and these sinners were also not politicians and government officials and even when he spent time with anyone like that like a tax collector he challenged them on what they were doing so anybody who is actually godly it will reflect they will not feel happy to be rubbing shoulders with evil people who have put many in abject pain it can't boost your ego so for your ego to be involved here and for this to make you happy something is wrong it's so sad so all these evil men that you're calling pastors you should turn your back on them you should empty their churches yes see them for who they truly are they're not men of god they are men of evil i'm saying categorically and you don't even realize that they, they are working hand in hand with politicians in keeping the country this way Maybe you don't recognize it. Let me explain. Let me explain the relationship to those who haven't understood it. The politicians know that our people believe so much in their pastors. But these pastors, because they need to milk the people, keep them focused on what? Praying to God to come and help them to better the country. But they know that this is not how God works. Because otherwise they will simply pray to god to help them with their own income they take money directly from the congregation instead of waiting for god to supply their income and they hire security to take care of them instead of relying on god and on angels to take care of their security make it make sense and yet they tell the congregation that they need to pray to god to do this and that that is not how God works. And they understand it. So for them to know that and yet keep encouraging people to pray for change, which will not come from praying to God, because that is not how God works, because God has already empowered us. Remember that everything we are empowered, it is just up to us to determine that we are going to stand on what we are rejecting and what we are accepting. But if the pastors know this and they, in, they continue to just teach you to pray for God to come, to save you, there is no sincerity in that. There is no sincerity in that. They want you to wait for the same thing that they want to wait for God to do for them. So it tells you right there that they don't even believe what they're saying. They're just telling you those things and while they continue to, where the problem is, is when they continuously tell you these kind of things, it's, it bears seed in your, in your soul. So the politicians know that this is the way that you're always thinking. And the politicians know that even though the people are so many and they can outnumber us, they're not going to do anything because they are just praying and waiting for God to come and help. So they know that the people are not going to overpower them. People are not going to take anything. People are not going to insist on anything because they have been taught to just wait and pray. And the pastors are doing the psychology work, the hypno the hypnosis of people putting the people to sleep and encouraging them to continuously pray for God's intervention. Even um, the other one said the other day that Nigeria's problem is a spiritual problem. It is a spiritual problem, but not in the way that it is meant for you to understand. Perception. 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 So they're encouraging you to just do it with prayer. But they will not solve their own problems with just prayer. Why? Why? Do they not love themselves? Do they manage to acquire everything and all, get all the things that they need by just praying? By just praying and people magically just, things just magically just fell from, from the skies. Security men just magically just appear. Those are angels in security men uniforms with guns. So they're not going to pray to God to make sure that bullets don't go through to get through to them they're not going to pray they're going to have guns and they're going to have people shooting other people they're not going to pray magically that god should make the people who are trying to attack them blind if they're spending so much effort in telling you to just be praying for god to come help you to come save you and they will not apply the same to themselves obviously they do not believe that they don't believe that that's the way that god works so why are they encouraging you to do something that they know or don't believe that god works you see that these two groups are working hand in hand from two ends to see the Finnish people with suffering. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. I'm ending this one now.